So I need. Where am I going to get gas from? What a ride! Hello again. Hi, Joe. Hang in there, Sparky. Okay, Joe. What happens if I go give? I got a neat Commander Rocket collectible. See? Do you want it? No thanks, Joe. I've got every piece of Commander Rocket paraphernalia you could imagine. Be there. I'll try to bump your fuel. I don't touch the stuff. It gives me gas. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this alcohol. Sure thing, son. May I see your ID, please? My ID? Yeah, ID. You have ID, don't you, son? Yeah, sure. I've got it right here. See? Hmm. You were born on the 13th of July, 1922, huh? That's right. How old are you then? How old am I? I'm, uh, I'm 26. Okay, but this card doesn't have your name on it. Of course it doesn't. I've just changed my name to Joe King, and I haven't got my new ID card through yet. Yeah, right. Okay, you can have the alcohol. Gee, thanks a lot. Remember, drinking doesn't make you big or clever, and never drive an automobile while under the influence. Thanks for the public service announcement, Bob. But I am an adult. This thing looks like Commander Rocket's jetpack. And according to those blueprints, it takes a quarter gallon of gas. I'll try that much. I need to find a higher point to launch from. Right, so I have my rocket. Looks like a giant asparagus. I need to find a higher point to launch from. Well, it should be up here. I think it does it anyway. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Oh, my head hurts. I'm so glad you could drop in, Joe. I knew that you'd make it. Faye, what are you doing here? I hitched a ride with Anderson in the airship. <laughs> my God. That's a dinosaur. It's a living, breathing dinosaur. That's right, King. Welcome to the Valley of the Mists. Where are the others? There with Dr. Ironstein. 
He has no idea that you're here, so you have the advantage of surprise. Great. Maybe I can scare him to death. You'll think of something. I told Frank that I needed to powder my nose, so I better get back. Powder your nose? Come on, follow me. If I get out of this alive, I'm taking a long vacation. <laughs> it looks nice. That doesn't seem to work. I'm no paleontologist, but going by the large crest on top of its head and the position of its nasal passages, I'd say that it's probably a Parasaurolophus. I'd rather leave it here. Whoa, looks like the rocket pack is truly waterlogged. Oh, it's a rocket pack. Okay. Faye? Where are you, Faye? Oh, great. Now I've lost Faye. And this dinosaur is in my way. It's a giant Apatosaurus, commonly known as a Brontosaurus, and it's blocking my way. Lucky for me, she's a vegetarian. They're just like the branches that dinosaur is eating. It's a bit too strong for me to break. Um. Now isn't the time to practice my hairstyling. Where is my knife? Here you go, girl. Should keep her occupied. Phew, that sure is big. Damn, I scared him away. Now where's he gone? They both left in a hurry. I wonder why. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm about to find out. That's one mean looking dinosaur. Phew, that sure is big. I can't move it. It looks like a Deinonychus, a particularly vicious theropod. I ain't going anywhere near him. I hope this guy is scared of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, that's taking care of him. Ugh. 
Ugh, it smells gross. Why the heck would I want that? I don't know. <laughs> Hold it right there, Einstein. King, how did you get here? That's not important. What is important is that I put a stop to your sinister plans. Put a stop to my plans? My dear King, you are going to help me fulfill them. Watch out, Joe. He has a portable dino ray gun. That's right, King. One shot, and you'll be transformed into a mindless dinosaur. Threaten me all you want. I won't be a party to your evil deeds. Perhaps I can persuade you by threatening the lovely Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do whatever you ask. Just don't hurt her. Come here, kid. I have something for you. This is the Crystal Skull. What do you want me to do with this? I want you to place it in that statue over there. That doesn't sound too bad. There, I put the skull in. Now what? <laughs> Holy cow! It worked! Just as legend said! All systems functional. Unit compliance initiated. Huh? I don't get it. What is this thing? That thing is the most powerful device on the face of the Earth! I was designed by the creators of this valley to help construct and protect the shield. With it leading my army of dinosaur people, I shall be invincible. And nothing will stop me from taking over the world. Uh oh. I only obey the activating unit. Hey, that's me. Oh, <laughs> well, in that case, King, I must destroy you. <laughs> Eep. <laughs> Thanks for saving my life. I was just doing my job. Good lord, what happened? My crystalline structure amplified the intensity of his weapon. Is that bad? It means that he now has powers equal to mine. I must stop him. Oh my god, they're fighting. <laughs> you gotta do something, Joe. Hurry, before they kill each other. I'll try and get Frank in my sights. Here goes nothing. He deflected the ray. You've got to turn Faye back to normal. Okay, I'll give it a go. Nice one, Joe. Sorry, Faye. Um. Hey, Azura. Yes, Joe? Oh, my God. <laughs> Joe, turn her back to normal this instant. Okay. What did you do that for? I just wanted to see what sort of dinosaur you'd turn into. Thank you for asking my permission. <laughs> Sorry, Azura, but you must know, you make a very dainty dinosaur. Things look grim, little buddy. They 
You sure do, Joe. Let's hope that the robot can beat Frank. How did you get down here? That's a long story, Joe. I'll tell you when this is all over. I wonder how the Amazon Queen is right now. Probably six feet underwater. It's best if you try not to think about it. Does this remind you of that time in Borneo? You mean that incident with the Dayak Animus on Mount Kinabalu? Yeah. If only this was that easy to get out of. Right, Joe, but this time there ain't no orangutans around. Talk to you later. Okay. Phew, that sure is big. Ooh, what would happen if I do that? This that? dino ray gun only works on humans. I can talk all I want, but it ain't gonna talk back. Excuse me, Azura. What do you want, Joe? How long do you think those two can keep fighting? They're both endowed with superhuman strength. They could fight for days. Thing before. Oh, brother. I knew I should have packed a sleeping bag. Me too. You could have shared mine. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. Sorry about zapping you with the dino ray. That's okay. Just don't do it again. I'll try not to. After this is all over, would you like to go out? What? Do you mean like, on a date? Yeah, sorta. Look, I understand if you don't want to. Nonsense, Joe. I'd love to go out with you. You would? That's great! Providing that we stop Frank from taking over the world. I'm not going to leave my friends behind. Um. <laughs> my gosh! Joe, what have you done to Sparky? I think I just turned him into a dinosaur. Don't panic. I'll try and change him back. Hey, Joe. What did you do that for? Sorry, Sparky. I was just trying this gizmo out. Unless... Nah, I'm gonna hold on to it for a while longer. This dino ray gun only works on humans. Excuse me, Faye. Yes, Joe. I'd like you to turn your mirror around. What on earth for? So that when Frank deflects the ray, it will bounce off your mirror. I get it. Then I won't get zapped into a dinosaur. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thanks, Faye. 
now and get Frank in my sights. Here I go again. Well, that didn't do much good. Darn. Sparky sure does make a cute dinosaur. Yeah, but he's not much use as a Triceratops. I feel so mellow. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe. Talk to you later. Okay. Um. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe. I got an idea how to stop you from getting zapped by the dino ray. What's your idea? Do you want me to move? No, no, no. Put this mask on. Okay. Its shiny surface should deflect the beam. So just sit tight, little buddy, okay? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, sorry, Sparky. But you should have gone before we left. Well, it's gonna bounce off the head of the isn't it? Now to get him in my sights. Hasta la vista, Frank. <laughs> That worked. You did it! You destroyed Dr. Einstein! I couldn't have done it without you guys helping me. I am awaiting further orders. I think it's best if we leave this place. Is there any way you can restore the valley shields? I could channel the energy from the crystal skull back into them. But the skull would have to remain here with me, in the valley. That's not such a bad idea. It might just keep out crazies like Frank. I want you to do it. By your command. But what about the dinosaurs? We could make a lot of money out of them. Some things are best left in the past, Faye. Is it over? Did I miss anything? I'll tell you all about it later, Sparky. Okay, guys. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, King. It looks like you've saved the world. Maybe I was wrong about you, Joe. With Frank gone, the world is a much safer place. If only he'd used his powers for niceness. Instead of evil. Look! The shield has been restored. The valley is safe again, but for how long? Don't worry, Joe. The Amazon jungle has been untouched for thousands and thousands of years. I'm sure it will remain untouched for thousands more. Well, Princess, I ought to be getting you home. But, Joe, I want to stay with you. And there we are done. <laughs> uh, so yeah, until next time, I'll see everyone later. Bye bye.